Good afternoon. This is Crystal Wyckoff with Crystal's Creations. I am going to be making a sympathy card for a neighbor down the street. Um, they just lost a golden retriever dog. She was 16 years old. So my husband suggested that I do a video for them and for their dog. That they just lost a dog. And I'm sure they can use some prayers because they have another dog that is a pit bull. And their pit bull, which I believe is also a girl. Correct me if I'm wrong, neighbors, because I'm going to let you know about this video. Um, if he or she is a girl, I think so. But I could be wrong. But uh, she is sad and lonely without her fur sister because she's just beside herself. And so I'm sure, I'm sure she can use some prayers too that she does not have her fur sister anymore and she is now in heaven with Jesus. And all dogs and cats and our pets do go to heaven so I do believe in that so but anyway so I thought I would make another rainbow card but this is more I don't have like a rainbow bridge stamp set or anything like that for dogs but I do have a, a stamp set dog stamp set and I have dog paws and I have this thin thing so I thought I would do my best to make it like a pathway leading up to the rainbow clouds which could be like heaven for dogs they might see rainbow clouds i don't know but i know that dogs see colors so that i do know because my our dogs kodak and nala they especially nala she loves cheese and she knows what cheese is and you open that drawer of the cheese, she, she's there in a split second. And if she knows what cheese looks like, she sees the color yellow or white. She knows, she knows the smell, she sees the color. She knows what it is and she wants it. She wants to eat it all. <laughs> she doesn't get it all. She gets a couple small bites, <laughs> but yeah. So anyway, so we're gonna make a car, a sympathy card for my neighbors that live a couple houses down from us. So anyways, let me get that started. So let me get my wonderful Misty Petunia stamp pad. And I have my rainbow clouds that I just cut out. I try to get everything prepped. Oops, oops, Roy, Roy B. Give. So R-O-Y-G. Roy B, Roy B, okay, blue, okay, uh, make sure I got that right. Okay, so I'm going to put my clouds out of the way for a minute. Get that set out of the way. Put my card here, because I'm just going to stamp on the card the best that I can. I'm going to put the dog, or the, um, the lines on here before I start gluing the clouds. So, oops, sorry. Hopefully you guys can still see that. So I have this long skinny line, actually get that out of my way here. So we're just going to stamp this whole thing on here. And if some of it gets cut glued off, then that's okay. We might glue some of it. Some of it will get buried. That's okay. I want to make sure I can do this correctly. So we're going to try and do a pathway to heaven so that we can stamp the dog, the golden retriever dog. Yeah, this thing is a pain in the, this little skinny thing. If I can get it to do what I want it to do. And uh, yeah. Okay, come on, roll back over. No, hang on guys, just bear with me. I'm having some issues. 
this doesn't want to I can't get this little skinny stamps just don't work for me is there something else that can hold this like okay I think I got it so bear with me with the noise in the background I'm gonna move my Gemini over a little bit okay so there's that so I think I'm going to stamp that a slate gray with Gina K's Ink Cube Slate Gray. Um, I think we have a TV on in the background. I don't have mine on over here unless it's my daughter's um, laptop I'm hearing or something. She's doing, uh, she's doing uh, CSU orientation today all day. And she gets to register for her classes today, too, which is like, oh my gosh, it's fast approaching. So in a month, she gets to move into her dorms, a dorm room. So it's like, wow. I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, did it have to happen this fast, so quickly? So now, let me see. Let me put this doggy on here so I can figure out how to how to figure out how to get the dog on here you might have to stamp the pathway <laughs> on the Gina K masking magic yep I may have to do that because I want to make it to where the dog is walking up the pathway so let's do this come on where are you eh We're just going to go up to that magnet. Stay. See? Okay. There. Stay. Okay, we finally got it. That's okay. If we have to, we'll just... We'll fix it, right? Okay. Let's get the golden retriever out of the way. We'll stamp our line with the thing here. Take my eraser here, just so I don't have to rub it with my hands, because I have wonderful carpal tunnel and CRPS in my hands. Yeah, I made a mistake, but a lot of that's going to be covered by the rainbow clouds anyway, so yeah, nobody's going to see it. Now I take my wonderful um, not chamois cloth, I don't have that anymore, but my other cloth that I got at Home Goods. Um, Oh, Gina K sells too. They have a bunch of these at Home Goods too. I can't remember the name of it already. I forgot. Okay. All right. So now, actually, um, oh great! Now we have squeaky toys in the background. Sorry, guys, for that noise. So just ignore it. I think they're playing with doggies. I don't know what I did with my masking magic. I think I misplaced it. Bear with me as I try and find it. Uh, I thought I had everything and already out, ready to go, so I can do a short video here. But then you know what? Oh, here it is. Here it is. I do have it. So I'm just going to stamp one line, Ooh, that's not long enough, so I need another piece here real quick, another long one. So let's take this out real quick, 
Let's put this on here. And let's just there, hold that. Hold that, hold that, hold that. No, hold. There we go. I don't know if you guys have skinny little line stamps like this. I, mean, I guess this could be like a dog leash too and all that, but it's, uh, okay, uh, let's get this back out again. Sorry if you hear my daughter in the background. Go ahead and quickly get this done. There we go. Got that. And of course, I guess you guys really don't need to see me stamping on the masking magic, do you? Not really. Okay, let's put this back because we're definitely going to need that back there. Let's get my scissors. We're gonna cut this line out of the Gina K Masking Magic. I really love this stuff. It works great. I'm not gonna cut all the way up to the line. Well, maybe try to go as close to the line as possible, but not. And then I save all my scraps because you never know, I always might need a small stamp, a small piece for a small stamp that I need masking magic for. I think this is the only one I need. It's just the one on top. Done. And then we'll cut this part off. That is good. Okay, now we're just going to peel this off. If I can get it off. My fingernails have been breaking and falling apart. They're so brittle. me guys trying to get this the back of the of this thing off and I'm having a <laughs> maybe I need my tweezers or something my crafty tweezers got it I'll put that there and now we're just gonna Take this off for a second. So now I'm going to put this over the line. Okay, now we're going to take our golden retriever. God, I don't want to forget what doggy it is. And then I want to put the dog. I want to start down here because I want to, well, let's start, let's start down here because I want to do another where, like, secondhand stamping so it looks like it's going to, where it's reaching, where it's being taken into the clouds type thing. So it might be secondhand and third hand. So let's start down here towards the bottom. Okay. Start right there. Oops. Right there. I always need more than one magnet. Okay. 
No, mine don't come off. Of course you did. Okay. So now let's use, um, we're gonna use Sandy Beach for the Golden Retriever because Golden Retrievers, a lot of them are that light, light, sandy brown, sandy colored. And then after I get this stamped on, I'm gonna take another darker brown into the tail on the stamp and stamp a little bit darker brown after I get a couple layers of the sandy beach on. Oops, you guys still see me, I hope. <laughs> out of the way and I can move this up so you guys can see what I'm doing. Huh. So we're just getting the doggy on. I'm gonna stamp some more on. Let's have issues with this dog and I don't know why. I'm gonna have to stand up and stamp this dog. Always this dog. Always. No, I am so sorry. Now can you see? Now I think you can see what I'm doing. Okay, that's a little bit better. I am so sorry. So let's stamp this dog. So I'm trying to get ink on this doggy. There we go. Now she's starting to show. There we go. That looks better. Okay, so now... You see where I have um, her... Uh, see her tail? I'm going to add a little bit darker brown, shades of brown to her tail, and I think to her paws down here at the bottom with my darker brown crystal or not crystal I think I have crystal ninja on the brain watching too much uh, rhinestone things lately um my Tombow brown marker water marker not crystal ninja marker oh good grief okay yeah so yeah I'm, I'm working on I'm gonna try and become a a, not the crystal ninja, but um, a crystal ninja down the road. So that's my goal someday. So you guys see what I'm doing? If I need to up my video, up my phone a little bit. I'm like, I want to make sure y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, now I think you can all see. Just trying to make sure not this is in the view. Gemini, you can see my Gemini clearly. But I want to make sure you can see my workstation and all that. Okay, I think you can see it. Okay, that's good. All right, as long as it's in the view. Okay, so now we're going to take the Tombow 879 marker. And I'm going to lay this flat so this might be out of your view for a minute, okay? So I'm going to add a little bit of brown on the tip of, because this is water, so you can put this on your stamp. So I'm going to just add a little bit 
on the tip of the tail. I'm just gonna add a little bit of dark brown in there. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of dark brown on the bottom of the paws. And up the legs a little bit. Just to blend in a little bit of those inks because I do not have, I mean, I have a dark brown alcohol marker, but it is almost black and I don't want to add black, black to her. Oh, I forgot the second hand stamper. I wasn't thinking. <gasps> I forgot. Okay, so that looks pretty good, I think. Okay, so let me do that really quick. So I'm gonna, I think I'll stamp it lightly. Oh, I wasn't thinking. Man. So let's stray it off. Okay, so now we're going to put her going this way, the pathway. just make her a little bit lighter. That's better. Let's see if I can get this to work. If I can do like a a second hand stamp off of this one. I don't know if this will work or not, but I'm going to try. I cannot remember where I got these doggy stamps. I don't know who they belong to, but I got ordered them from somewhere. I just don't remember where. Well, that kind of sort of worked a little bit. So it kind of looks like, but I think the clouds are gonna cover it a little bit. So nah, that's okay. That works a little bit. So now we're gonna put the clouds on and then after we get clouds on, we'll add the rainbow. We're gonna add some paws rainbow paws around it. So we don't need this right now, so let me put this in a safe place so it does not break. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this off. If I can get it off. Okay. Then we're gonna put it back on our thing. Yeah, that side. So we're gonna yep. Try 
I'll get it back on the correct way. Okay, we've got that back on. Okay, so now we're gonna put inner clouds going. So this is from a rainbow pack of eight and a half by 11 cardstock that my daughter got me for Mother's Day and I am just now using it. So a good way to learn the rainbow order um, I learned is called Roy, Roy B. Give. But no E on the end of give. So it's R O Y space. So his middle name would be a B, which stands for blue, and then G I V would be his last name. Roy B. Give. It's pretty cool. I learned, I like that. Helps me remember. <laughs> R is for red. O is for orange. Y is for yellow. And then B is for blue. G is for green. And then I is for indigo. And then V is for violet. That's pretty cool. So I'm trying to think we're gonna start with this cloud, but we're gonna do it in layers so i already cut this all down to four and a quarter size because i wanted it to cover the whole kit and caboodle so let's go ahead and put our wonderful barely arts glue and let me tell you i love this stuff oh, it takes a little bit Let me tell you, I did over 400 graduation cards with it, with uh, my last bottle of glue, and then some. And I still have a little bit left in my other bear bottle, but I had to get some more because I was getting real low. Okay, so we have this one. So now let's go to our next shape. That's really big, you're not going to be able to see it. So, I don't like it. It's too big. See? So is this one. So you know what? I'm going to cut this way down again. Hold on, guys. Uh, I should have known. I should have known. That these guys are going to be way too big. So, we're going to cut these down. These are going to have to be really small. Maybe less than... Okay, let's try this. Because I want to see the other clouds can't see the other clouds. This is difficult. I guess I'm not used to adding clouds. Okay. Now let's try this one. I should have... Okay, I guess we could just Do it that way. I don't know. You know what? I don't know. Scrap that bunch. Let's just do these. I don't know. I just don't know. I guess we can do these on top of those. Because they are going a different direction. I guess that's okay, like that. 
You can still see some of the red, but then I don't want to lose the red. That's okay, we'll use that red if we have to later. Yellow. Let's see, now we're going to really lose the red. You know what I should have did? I should have used this as, as a stencil. That's what I should have did. So, you know what we're going to do, guys? We're going to go to plan B. We're not going to take the card apart. We're going to use that orange and red as is. And I'm just going to do what I saw Gina K do the other day. Because I want some of these clouds in there. So I'm going to get some yellow ink. And I'm just going to put it this way. So let's get yellow. Comes after yellow. Blue. Blue. And let's get my little trusty finger dudes here and I know I guess YouTube I guess did you guys see that memo YouTube was saying hey let's do shorter videos but there's a lot of people that like longer videos I am one of them I know other people do longer videos I'm sorry I can't help it I try to do faster videos, but it is what it is. Okay, we're going to do Gina K's Wild Dandelion. So that's what we're going to do. So we're just going to be different. It's just all there is to it. So let's see if we can make this work. Yes, it's working. It is working. It is working in my favor, but I'm going to make it darker. Forgot to look to see if Cricket <laughs> was having any sales, but I think they were. I saw on my thing they were having some good deals. So you guys might want to look. I am an affiliate with Cricket. Um, I'm also an affiliate with uh, Pick a Fence Studios, so check with them. I know they always have good stuff going on. Um, I don't know where they're located at. If they're located in Florida, like Ranger is and stuff like that, you probably won't um, get your stuff. Because it might be closed for duration because of Hurricane or Tropical Storm Elsa, depending on where she's hitting or what she's called right now. Um, yeah, so... Red, orange, yellow, blue. So I need blue now. So now we're gonna go down to blue. So, no. So we're gonna go on top of that yellow. And get my blue the ocean okay so that is what we're 
we're doing here is we're just gonna I hope this works. This actually still has enough ink on it. That's okay. The second dog is going to get covered too. Okay, a little bit of blue. Okay. Green, 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 green. Um, let's just use Simon Hurley's green. Yeah, this one. No, not that one. This one. With this green. So let's do this green. So we're going to go on top of the blue a little bit. Just so you guys could see that, huh? And to hold it, because I'm not taping it at the moment. Okay, there's the green. That looks kind of cool. Okay, now indigo. We want indigo, indigo. So we're gonna go, and that would be, ooh, that would be a crossbred between blue and da 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 da. We're gonna wipe this off. Da 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 da. Um. Shaded lilac, I guess, could be an indigo, I guess. We'll call that indigo. That's about as good as it's gonna get for indigo. mind just wasn't gonna work in my favor <laughs> so I had to go to plan B for a car I'm not so sure if I like it that's okay you guys will let me know if you like it please and be honest okay now we're gonna go indigo violets so that would be more so I am just gonna use seedless grapes or no let's use Gina K's plum punch let's try that for violet shall we let's try that try your plum punch hopefully that ain't too dark Okay, well, and now I don't like this orange, so I'm, well, that Barely Arts glue is stuck on there, so there's nothing we can do, so it is what it is, so we are stuck on there. 
Okay, where's the lid? Let's put this away real quick and I'll put the other one away later. Okay. So, there is that. So now I guess we can just add some doggy paws real quick. I do need my other inks out, I guess. Let's get my, so let's do this. I really don't need, so we can add some doggy paws. This one is like stained black because I used a black that stained it. So, yeah, put this one down a little bit. Okay. Okay, let's find a red. So let's get candy apple. We're gonna need orange. So let's do red doggy paws. candied apple. Hope this works. Okay, two reds. So, oh, so we'll use Gina K's Tangerine Twist for the orange. Ah. Okay, let's get off the edge of that stamp there so we don't go overboard. Okay. There's orange. Ah, uh, my doggy paws moved on me. that one did anyways. Okay, actually I need you to go up a little closer. It's now yellow, right? So a wild dandelion. We have enough yellow on there. Okay, there's yellow. Okay. Okay. There's Roy, and then B, Blue, Salty Ocean. Okay, go up Tim Holtz. Okay, so red, <laughs> orange, yellow, blue, Roy B, 
GI Green. Turning green. So now we're gonna go to Simon Hurley. Baked plant is next. I'm using a little bit of everybody today for ink, aren't I? That I am. So now we're gonna go off this way. We're gonna turn. There's the green. Now we're going to do, I guess I shouldn't have put that shaded lilac away because I needed it. That's more indigo, more than anything. I find it more in the, I don't know, more of the indigo family between a blue and a purple. Not violet, but I guess indigo. <sighs> okay. Go that. Okay. There's indigo. And then next is purple for violet. And that'll be Gina K's Plum Punch. Because that's pretty violet, I think. Quite a bit, a few of hers too. Okay, there was that. So we are done with the rainbow paws. I think that kind of worked kind of what I wanted to do in my head, sort of, in a roundabout way. So, I don't, I wish I had, I wish there was a stamp set that had something like, some like, you know, rainbow, your dog, rainbow bridge, your dog, I, I don't know. Uh, I'll figure it out. Or something like that. Something. Or the orange yellow. Yeah. And then blue. And I don't know where my green went. That's okay. So anyways, I guess I can doctor this up with a thing and oh just to let you all know um if any of you buy a gem picker tool or a rhinestone picker tool that looks like this with things in it this is a knockoff i got this on amazon so i'm just letting you know that we need to turn them in to um, the Crystal Ninja. Um, her name's Kelly DeFry, DeFries, or DeFree, DeFry. Um, she does a YouTube channel called The Crystal Ninja, and she has a patent on these. She created the katana, the crystal katana, and there's a lot of companies that are stealing her design. So, she has a lawyer. The lawyer, I guess, will send a letter out to um, them saying, I don't know what it says, but yeah. So please, if you have something like this, please, please do not buy a knockoff gem picker tool like this, like I did, because I felt really bad 
that she created it and this is a knockoff and I felt horrible horrible but I did not know that she created it so but it is what it is I got it on Amazon and I had to turn the company in and I just I feel horrible so anyways yeah so please yeah but anyways now you know so and she won't be mad at you if you have one of those so it's okay she's really nice and sweet she's a very sweet person so I thought I'd let you know so I'm gonna add some uh, gems to this car this is for my neighbor so anyways I will talk to you later have a great day oh I guess while we're at it I guess I can show you my July Christmas cards I've been making on YouTube real quick right <laughs> since I haven't been on in a while. I've been kind of taking a sabbatical. So I guess I can show y'all real quick while I'm on it. So let me put this one aside. So here they are. This is Gina Kay's uh, mini sweater and hot cocoa set. It says hot cocoa and sweaters with you life is better. And I entered it into her little community uh, contest. So we shall see. And I added some little clear rhinestones to it. And I used gold glitter embossing powder for the, the sweater, the snowflakes, and the heart. And the, yeah, hot cocoa. And I used her um, teal, tranquil, whatever, light blue. And then I used a green, Tim Holtz's green, or no, I used fake plant, this, Simon Hurley's fake plant green, and I used candy apple red, um, Tim Holtz's candy apple red for that. And I just blended all those together, and then I used my water, I used my, I don't know where I put it, somewhere over here, this mess I need to go through my water and perfect pearl powder, glitter powder, and spray that to blend them all together. So that is how I did that one. And then I did this cute card, this uh, 12 window frame window die. And I added that it's from these are from the, and this cardstock is from the Save Freeze Christmas cardstock set. And then I added three red gems, sticky gems from it. And then it says Merry and Bright. And then I also have the sticker set that goes with the Safe Freeze sticker set. And then on the inside, I added, you know, have a Merry Little Christmas stamp set to this uh, stockings. And then I did, let's see, the other day I made a slimline. I did a slimline. Have a merry little Christmas with hot cocoa or coffee stacked Christmas hot cocoa mugs, I guess you can call it. And then for this one, I uh, did a masking mug for this one. I masked it so I can do the candy cane inside of it. And then I added some puffed up sticky gold gems onto it to give it some added effect and I didn't add anything on the inside yet because I am getting orders and I wanted to do some samples for that. And then I also did this card the other day. I did a Christmas tree. I puffed, I put um, those little circle foam dots, double-sided foam dots on this to puff it up and I put Christmas presents underneath it. Again, this is the 12 frame die set. And then I added, I got some sparkly glittered washi tape and I added that around it to give it some, like a snow scene along the window type, I don't know, just to make it look cute. And I didn't see the need to go all the way around because it just, you don't need to go all the way around with washi tape. And then I added another little sign here. It says, 
hot cocoa here and ice skating. So I added a snowman for the ice skating because I figured he'd be going ice skating and gloves to go with it. And then your hot cocoa on this side. And I thought that was kind of cute. And then on here, I've just put, have a holly jolly Christmas. This was one thing I cut it up so it could fit. And then I added, it's the most wonderful time of the year. And then three sticky gems. Yeah, and then on this side, I put three sticky green gems. And then I did, the other day, I made two more Christmas cards. Or the other day, I did this one. I did the doggy one. This is a dog. It's from Pets and Presents by Recollections or something like that. But this is a different die frame set. So it has different things. And I cut another dog cardstock, same framed set. And so I just placed the doggy frame dogs inside the thing. And then I just got a thing of sticker, Christmas stickers, and added them to it to make it look kind of cool. And then on the inside, this green starred paper is the other side of this present paper. And then I added some foxy dogs, and then this says Feliz Navidad. <laughs> And I added a gem, gold puppy gem, to where the hole was for that. I punched it out so I can add it there. And yeah, I added some silver because I thought it went really well with that. And then I added this extra because it's got the doggy bones and candy canes and little mice. And yeah, so it's pretty cute. And then here up at the top it says, Believe in the Magic of Christmas. And then this one I just finished making today. This one says Warm Winter Wishes. And this is from the Snowflake frame die set that Christina Werner made. And I tell you, I always have issues with this die set. But I don't know. But it is what it is. So I manage with it. But it does not like thick paper. It does not like heavyweight cardstock, and I'm just having issues with it. But I try. It seems to like glitter cardstock better, but yeah. And then I just took my Gina K ink and did the blue to make it look like a snow scene and added some rhinestones to the front of it. And then I put acetate on the window to make it like a window with a stamped. Um, I stamped a, has a circle with a tree, and then I stamped the reindeer inside of it with a bunny and a bird. These two birds were connected, but I cut them in half because I didn't want the birds next to each other. So Jennifer McGuire can cut her stamps. I can too. So it's okay to cut your stamps. <laughs> so I was like, these birds got to be cut. I just didn't like them next to each other or one on top of the other, and I just didn't like it. And I wanted that little birdie looking up at the deer because I thought it was kind of cute. So that's what I did. And this scallop die is from Gina K's Master Layout 4 set. So anyways, that is it. And that is what I have so far for Christmas cards. So I have been doing samples because I'm getting orders and... Yeah, I've got friends that want to do orders, and so I said I would make some samples, and I'm still not done doing samples, so that is it. Anyways, y'all, have a good day. Keep crafting, and always do something new. Bye for now. Have a good week. I'll try and do something more next week. Bye.